ओके फाइन नाउ लेट इस स्टार्ट विद द सेशन इन लास्ट सेशन आई एक्सप्लेन्ड टोटली थियरिटिकल कॉन्सेप्ट टोटली थियरिटिकल कॉन्सेप्ट नाउ विल सी द वन एग्जांपल ओके प्रैक्टिकली ओके प्रैक्टिकली वी विल सी द वन एग्जांपल हाउ टू डिस्प्लेइंग द वेलकम मैसेज हाउ टू डिस्प्लेइंग द वेलकम मैसेज बाय यूजिंग स्प्रिंग फ्रेमवर्क नाउ वी विल सी द वन एग्जांपल प्रैक्टिकल ओरिएंटेशन राइट नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू ओपनिंग द एक्लिप्स आईडी फर्स्ट वी नीड टू ओपन द एक्लिप्स आईडी आफ्टर ओपनिंग द एक्लिप्स आईडी आफ्टर ओपनिंग द एक्लिप्स आईडी टेक द वन स्टैंड अलोन प्रोजेक्ट क्लिक ऑन फाइल मेनू न्यू न्यू जावा प्रोजेक्ट जावा प्रोजेक्ट अंडर दैट वी कैन टेक द प्रोजेक्ट नेम स्प्रिंग कोर प्रोजेक्ट स्प्रिंग कोर प्रोजेक्ट स्प्रिंग कोर प्रोजेक्ट द नेक्स्ट क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट बटन क्लिक ऑन फिनिश बटन आफ्टर क्रिएटिंग द प्रोजेक्ट आफ्टर क्रिएटिंग द प्रोजेक्ट फर्स्ट वी नीड टू ऐड द जार फाइल्स स्प्रिंग रिलेटेड जार फाइल्स स्प्रिंग रिलेटेड जार फाइल्स वी नीड टू ऐड हियर हाउ टू ऐड द स्प्रिंग रिलेटेड जार फाइल्स स्प्रिंग रिलेटेड जार फाइल्स राइट क्लिक ऑन प्रोजेक्ट नेम एरो मार्क बिल्ड पाथ एरो मार्क कॉन फिगर बिल्ड पाथ कॉन फिगर बिल्ड पाथ एरो मार्क क्लिक ऑन लाइब्ररी टैप्स एरो मार्क क्लिक ऑन एड एक्सटर्नल जार्स एरो मार्क अंडर दैट वी कैन प्लेस टू जार फाइल्स नंबर वन स्प्रिंग डॉट जार नंबर टू कामन लॉगिंग कामन लॉगिंग डॉट जार क्लिक ऑन ओके क्लिक ऑन ओके ना आटोमेटिकली पाथ इज गोइंग टू बी सैटेड पाथ इज गोइंग टू बी सैटेड ना वाट इज यवर रेस्पासीबिटी ना वी कैन डेवलपिंग द फैल्स ना वी कैन डेवलपिंग द फैल्स सो हाउ टू डेवलप द फैल्स ना जस्ट अबर्विंग हियर एक्सट्राक्ट द प्रोजेक्ट एरो मार्क राइट क्लिक ऑन एस आर्सी एरो मार्क न्यू क्लास न्यू क्लास ना वी कैन टेक हियर वेलकम प्रोजेक्ट वेलकम सॉरी वेलकम बीन नॉट प्रोजेक्ट वेलकम बीन वेलकम बीन अंडर दैट वी कैन डेवलप द वी कैन डेवलप द स्माल पीस ऑफ कोड ना हियर आई एम टेकन प्राइवेट प्राइवेट स्ट्रिंग स्ट्रिंग मैसेज स्ट्रिंग मैसेज द नेक्स्ट ऑफर दैट वी नीड टू जनरेट द सेटर मेथड फॉर दिस प्रॉपर्टी सो ना हाउ टू जनरेट द सेटर मेथड सेलेक्ट दिस प्रॉपर्टी सेलेक्ट दिस प्रॉपर्टी एरो मार्क राइट क्लिक ऑन दैट प्रॉपर्टी एरो मार्क सोर्स अंडर दैट जनरेट गेटर्स एंड सेटर्स एरो मार्क क्लिक ऑन सेलेक्ट मेथड्स सेलेक्ट सेटर्स देन क्लिक ऑन ओके देन ऑटोमेटिकली वी आर गेटिंग वॉट सेटर मेथड ऑटोमेटिकली वी आर गेटिंग वॉट सेटर मेथड आफ्टर दैट पब्लिक पब्लिक वाइड शो पब्लिक वाइड शो देन नेक्स्ट आफ्टर दैट एस वाई एस ओ कंट्रोल स्पेस एस वाई एस कंट्रोल स्पेस मैसेज मैसेज ओके मैसेज दिस इज माई बीन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कॉल दि शो मेथड वट इज रिक्वयर्ड आबजेक्ट इज रिक्वयर्ड आबजेक्ट इज रिक्वयर्ड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कॉल दि शो मेथड आबजेक्ट इज रिक्वयर्ड नाउ ई डिड इंट क्रिएट एन आबजेक्ट ऑफ दिस क्लास दिस क्लास आबजेक्ट क्रिएशन ऐम गोइंग टू हैंड ओवरिंग टू दि स्प्रिंग फ्रेमवर्क नाउ द Spring framework is responsible to creating this class object, and Spring framework is responsible to give us to the that object to in our client application. Now, your responsibility is to call this business method. 
now your responsibility is to call this business method now how to hand over into the this uh, how to hand over into the this class to spring container first of all we need to develop here one spring configuration file we need to develop the spring configuration file so now spring configuration file how to develop right click on src new new others others xml next under that we can take uh, spconfig.xml spconfig.xml your choice any name you can take any name you can take after that copy the dtd from the existing applications existing applications and we can paste here otherwise otherwise copy that dtd from the net copy and paste here copy and paste why we are placing this dtd means here dtd internally is going to be converting the this total xml code according to according to that container understandable format dtd never be converting here internally internally sax parser or dom parsers are going to be activated whenever we are placing this dtd that two are compilers these compilers are going to be compiling this total xml code and gives to the that xml code to container now the container is going to be understanding that code and it is going to be creating the an object of welcome bin so now if we want to create the welcome bin object must and should we need to configure like this if we want to configure the any bin if we want to configure the any bin must and should we have to take here the root element called beans beans after that after that we can take the sub element called bean bean id is equal to id is equal to id1 then class equal to class equal to class equal to welcome bean class equal to welcome bean class equal to welcome bean after that we have to take the here property because of this setter method we have to take the property property name is equal to property name is equal to message property name equal to message then next value is equal to value is equal to property is the sub element of bin and value is the sub element of property element now we can take here welcome to welcome to spring framework otherwise welcome to durga soft private limited durga soft private limited durga soft private limited then close the value then next after that close the property close the property then next close the bin then close the bins whenever we are configuring the sorry whenever you want to create the any object we have to configure like this if we want to welcome bin object we have to configure the okay bin like this under beans element any number of beans we can configure this is the root element root element for the okay all the beans then after developing the spring configuration file now what is our responsibility your responsibility is your responsibility is to develop the client application to develop the client application right click on src new new class i am going to take here client <coughs> client under that first of all we need to import the first of all we need to import the java packages so now spring related packages we can import here what are the two packages import import org dot spring framework dot spring framework dot core dot io dot 
io dot star package so what purpose we are placing this package so now here resource is equal to okay resource is equal to res is equal to new class path resource because of that reason i am going to place here okay first package now the second package import org dot spring framework dot beans dot factory factory dot star package then next import org dot spring framework dot beans dot factory dot factory dot factory dot xml these three packages must and should we need to import if you want to developing the client application in spring framework now here i am going to take main method main method main method the next resource res is equal to resource res is equal to resource res is equal to new class path resource new class path resource new class path resource so now under that we have to place what spring configuration file sp config dot sp config dot xml sp config dot xml then next after that we need to hand over the this spring configuration file to container this is the loading now we can hand overing to the container how to hand overing bean factory bean factory factory is equal to new xml bean factory new xml bean factory new xml bean factory under that we can pass what res res right xml bean factory f a c t o r y okay bean factory then next after that what we have to do we need to get our bean object if we want to get our bean object now the spring container spring container means this is the spring container this totally we call them as this line we call them as spring container if we want to getting our bean object then what we have to do so now container was provided by the one factory method we can use that factory method we can use that factory method so now what is that factory method factory dot factory dot get b enough get b enough id 1 get b enough id 1 in xml i configured id 1 so now this get b method return type is what get b method return type is what object of object class object of object class object of object class that is the reason i am assigning to the here object of object class after that we can type casting to the according to our bin welcome bin welcome bin wb is equal to wb is equal to welcome bin welcome bin of o then next after that wb dot wb dot show method wb dot show method wb dot show method that's enough like this like this like this we can call the business methods now if we want to edge code this one right click on this file name arrow mark run as java application we are getting what welcome to durga soft private limited so like this by using this spring framework we can develop stand alone applications as well as we can develop the mbc applications okay we can develop the mbc related applications right now we will see the now we will see the dependency in the form of objective 
dependency in the form of objective this is what dependency in the form of primitive or string based values so now the setter injection is divided into totally three types right setter injection is divided into totally three types number one is what dependency in the form of primitive or string based values number two is what number two is what dependency in the form of objective number three is what dependency in the form of collections see for example here i am taking the class class sample bin sample bin under that private private string string message message the next private private int k this is what dependency in the form of this is what dependency in the form of primitive and string based values dependency in the form of primitive and string based values primitive and string based values string based values so then number 2 number 2 private private demo bin demo bin db db this is what dependency in the form of objective dependency in the form of in the form of an objective an objective the next private list data private list data the next private map string comma integer employees generic sonnet employees this is what whenever you are declaring like this this is the dependency in the form of collections dependency in the form of collections dependency in the form of in the form of collections collections like this setter injection is divided into totally three types just now we observed what term dependency in the form of primitive and string based values string based values now we'll see the dependency in the form of an objective now we'll see the dependency in the form of an objective right see now here how to how to okay designing this sum dependence in the form of an objective we will see very clearly right so now here i am taking the one class class sample bin sample bin under that private private demo bin db demo bin db this demo bin is also called as an inner bin inner bin this is also called as collaborator collaborator this is also called as dependency dependency like this different names are there we can call okay so now which one is uh, okay better for okay you are speaking then we have to take like that 
दिस इज वॉट आउटर बीन आउटर बीन दिस इज वॉट आउटर बीन दिस इज वॉट इनर बीन ओके सो दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एस डिपेंडेंट डिपेंडेंट लाइक दिस डिफरेंट नेम्स आर देर वी कैन कॉल ओके विच वन इज ओके विच वन इज ईजी फॉर टू स्पीक देन वी हाव टू यूज एंड वी कैन कॉल लाइक दैट आफ्टर दैट वी कैन टेक हियर सेटर मेथड पब्लिक बिकॉज दिस इज सपोर्टेड बाय द सेटर इंजेक्शन पब्लिक वॉइड सेट टू डी बी अंडर दैट डेमोबीन डीबी द नेक्स्ट दिस डॉट डी बी इज ईक्वल टू डी बी द नेक्स्ट पब्लिक वाइड शो अंडर दैट डी बी डॉट यम एन वॉट इज दिस यम एन यम एन इज वन ऑफ दि मेथड अवेलेबल टू दिन डेमोबीन क्लास ओके डेमोबीन क्लास वी हाव टू डिजाइन लाइक दिस क्लास क्लास डेमोबीन क्लास डेमोबीन अंडर दैट वी हाव टू टेक द वन मेथड पब्लिक वाइड पब्लिक वाइड यम एन द नेक्स्ट द नेक्स्ट सिस्टम डॉट आउट डॉट प्रिंट लैन I am the inner bin. I am the inner bin. Like this, we can define the inner bins as well as outer bins. This is the inner bin. This is the inner bin. This is the outer bin. Now, how to creating this inner bin object and the outer bin object? I didn't create the inner bin object as well as outer bin object. everything i am going to hand over into the spring container now the spring container is take care about to creating the this class object as well as this class object and finally those objects was going to be given to the in our application and your responsibility is to call the business methods now how to hand over into the this inner bin as well as outer bin we can hand over into the inner bin as well as outer bin like this so this is the spring configuration file spconfig.xml spconfig.xml under that we have to take what first of all dtd dtd then next after that the root element called beans the root element called beans under that sub element called bean bean id is equal to id1 class is equal to class is equal to sample bin class is equal to sample bin then next after that after that we have to take what property element why because here i am following to the setter injection i am going to following to the setter injection we have to take the property element property name is equal to property name is equal to db then next after that we have to configuring the inner bin how to configuring the inner bin bin class equal to bin class equal to bin class equal to demo bin bin class equal to demo bin we can configuring the inner bin like this after that close the property then next close the bin then next close the beans this is the outer bin this is the inner bin i closed here itself beans this is the way to configuring the inner bin as well as outer bin this is the way to configuring the inner bin as well as outer bin see for example for example in my client application in my client application i am going to making the request like this factory dot get bin of 
factory dot get bin of id1 id1 is what outer bin okay outer bin id is what id1 so now factory dot get bin of id1 i am making the request whenever we are making the request factory dot get bin of id1 first the container is going to be creating the sample bin object no or demo bin object no first the container is going to be creating the demo bin object why because the container always given to the preference to creating the inner bin only the container always creating the inner bin only preference is given to the inner bin then next it is given to the preference to the outer bin so now first it is going to be creating the inner bin like this demo bin db is equal to new demo bin new demo bin after creating the inner bin object then next it is going to be creating the outer bin object like this sample bin sample bin sb is equal to new sample bin new sample bin after creating the after creating the sample bin object because of setter injection here the spring container is going to be calling the setter method on this object sb dot set db sb dot set db and it is going to be passing the this object here where is the set db i defined already in our bean class set db by calling the setter method on this object and finally this object was going to be injecting to the in our application in our application now this is the local if you want to make a global then this dot db is equal to db then it is become a global then next after that term, we can call we can call db dot show method here okay so now we can call here sb dot show method whenever we are calling the sb dot show method then automatically then automatically i am the inner bin like this it is going to be displayed by the inner bin messages like this we can injecting the inner bins inside the outer bin inside the outer bin so now first we will see the this example really it is injected or not practically right see now here see now here right click on src new class under that i am taking first sample bin sample bin sample bin under sample bin i am taking private private demo bin private demo bin db then next generate the setter method for this property right click on project source generate setter then okay then next after that public void show public void show then db dot db dot m1 db dot m1 now we have to create the demo bin object also demo bin object also right click on src new class demo bin the next after that public void m1 then next SYSO control space I am the inner bin I am the I am the inner bin I am the inner bin I am the inner bin we can configure like this so now after that 
go to the spring configuration file this is my spring configuration file this is my spring configuration file inside this spring configuration file we can configuring the inner bin as well as outer bin how to configured bin id is equal to bin id is equal to id1 class equal to class equal to sample bin sample bin then next after that property property name equal to property name equal to db then next after that we have to take inner bin configuration bin class equal to bin class equal to demo bin bin class equal to demo bin then next after that close the property then next close the bin close the bin then finally close the bins like this we can configuring the inner bin as well as outer bin now go to the client application so now in this client application in this client application we can make a request factory dot get bin of id1 factory dot get bin of id1 then next after that we need to type casting to the sample bin sample bin sb is equal to sample bin of sample bin of o sample bin of o then next after that sb dot sb dot now here show sb dot show that's enough that's enough now we can right click on this client application run as java application we are getting what i am the inner bin i am the inner bin like this we can injecting the inner bins as well as outer bins inside inside our application okay inside our application right now here here there is even small problem whenever we are configuring like this whenever we are configuring inner bin as well as outer bins like this there is even small problem what is that problem here we will see here the problem is the problem is assume that the same demo bin is required for one more class the same demo bin is required for one more class for example for example here i am going to take one more bin class class example bin example bin example bin under that i am taken private demo bin demo bin db demo bin db demo bin db after that we can generate the setter method like this public void set to db now demo bin db the next this dot db is equal to db the next public public void show one then db dot m1 this is what example bin one example bin this is what sample bin two bins i configured two bins i developed here these two are outer bins now demo bin i am using inside the sample bin as well as example bin in two bins was going to be utilizing this demo bin in that case what we have to do we need to configuring the this bin also inside the spring configuration file how to configured we will see here how to configured we will see here inside the spring configuration file any number of bins we can configured there is no issue we can configuring the any number of any number of 
beans right so now first bean is completed sample bean is completed now i am going to take now i am going to take example bean how to configured we have to configure like this bean id is equal to id is equal to id2 then class is equal to class is equal to example bean example bin example bin bin id is equal to id2 class is equal to example bin then next after that we have to take the property because of setter we have to take the property property name is equal to property name is equal to what is that db db then next after that inner bean configuration bean class is equal to class is equal to demo bean then finally close the property the next close the bean the next close the beans like this we can configure the we can configure the inner bean as well as outer bean like this we can configuring the inner bean as well as outer beans okay whenever we are configuring the inner beans like this there is a one small problem here what is that problem what is the id for the what is the id for the sample bean id 1 what is the id for the example bean id 2 what is the id for the demo bean there is no separate id here there is no separate id here if you want to getting the only for this demo bean from the spring container how we are going to getting there is no chance for to getting the only for this demo bean okay it is not possible to getting the only demo bean object from the spring container from the spring container that means why we are not getting this demo bean object there is no separate id for this inner bean this is the problem number 1 whenever we are configuring the inner beans like this there is no separate id for this inner bean there is no separate id for this inner bean this is the problem number 1 inner bean configuration problem number 2 is problem number 2 is how many times we are configuring this demo bin here we are configuring here we are configuring two times we are configuring now the spring container is going to be creating the two references for the same bin two references for the same bin and unnecessarily we are wasting the memory problem memory memory wastage this is the second problem this is the second problem first of all we will see the this reality is going to be reality is going to be given to the two references or single reference for that demo bin so we will see the practically then later how to resolving this problem we will see the okay later now see now here i am taken already example bin sample bin now i am going to take another bin that is example bin example bean i am taken example bean i am taken so under that i am taken private private demo bean demo bean db then next after that we can generate the setter method here also source generate generate setter the next public public void show one public void show one the next db dot m1 db dot m1 the next go to the spring configuration file in this spring configuration file we can configured that example bean also how to configured 
first bean I configured sample bean in the same way we can configure this bean also bean id is equal to id to duplicate ids doesn't allowed by the within the same xml file then class equal to class equal to example bin example bin then next after that after that property name equal to property name equal to db then next after that after that inner bin configuration bin class equal to demo bin demo bin then next after that close the property then next close the bin then next close the bins close the bins this is the way this is the way to configure the inner bins as well as outer bin now go to the client application this is my client application so now in this client application we need to make a request to that example bin also already already we are taken what sample bin now we have to take the example bin so now how to get the example bin object object o1 is equal to factory dot get b enough factory dot get b enough id2 the next after that example bin example bin eb is equal to example bin enough example bin enough o1 the next eb dot eb dot show one like this we can call the we can call the business methods now you'll we'll see so now right click run as java application we are getting what i am the inner bin i am the inner bin right now here we are getting the inner bin okay not a issue but how many memory spaces are going to be created here if we want to see that one go to the example bin one and we can print that address demo bin object address db in the same way go to the sample bin and we can print that address system dot out dot print ln so now db that's our that's our then go to the client and we can make a request now we are getting same reference or multiple references we are getting what multiple references that means single bin we are implementing single bin we are developing but how many references are going to be created two different references are going to be created then unnecessarily we are wasting the memory problem okay unnecessarily we are wasting the memory space this is the problem number one problem number two is i want to getting the only for that inner bin if we want to getting the only for that inner bin there is no chance for to getting that inner bin okay like this these two are these two are okay problems in inner bin configuration these two are problems for inner bin configuration in order to overcome these two problems in order to overcome these two problems in order to overcome these two problems now the spring framework was going to be given to the one xml tag called that is ref xml tag spring framework was going to be given to the one xml tag called that is ref xml tag using that ref xml tag we can eliminating the these two problems ref is an xml element ref is an xml element so ref is an xml element sometime we call them as xml element sometime we call them as this is an attribute also attribute also so now this ref xml element totally totally having three attributes number one is what local local number two is what local is equal to id name number two is what ref 
parent parent is equal to id name id name number 3 ref bean is equal to id name id name like this this ref xml element having totally three attributes local parent and bin and bin using this ref xml element we can resolving that problem we can resolving that problem how to resolving that problem now just we can configuring the inner bin separately first of all we can configuring the inner bin separately bin id is equal to id3 class is equal to demo bin demo bin demo bin after that close the bins close the bins then using this ref xml element we can place this demo bin inside the sample bin as well as inside the example bin inside the example bin how we can place we will see here we can remove this xml code we can remove this xml code and we can take directly here ref local is equal to ref local is equal to id3 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 in the same way here also we can remove this inner bin definition and we can take ref local is equal to local is equal to id3 like this we can hand overing the this id3 any number of bins in this case always the spring container is going to be injecting inside this uh, bins same reference only but not different references but not different references okay that means we are getting the separate id as well as we are going to saving the memory space also we are going to saving the memory space also when we are using the local when we are using the parent when we are using the bin if our inner bins are available to the within the same xml file if our inner bins are available to the within the same xml file then we can take local attribute local attribute so whenever we are placing the local attribute here first the spring container is going to be verified within the same xml file only within the same xml file that inner bins are available or not within the same xml file that inner bins are available then only the spring container is going to be creating that inner bin object and it is going to be placed into that inner bin object inside the outer bin otherwise 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 spring container is just throws one exception bin in creation exception otherwise so now within the document id1 is not available like this it throws the one exception if it is not available to the okay that inner bins within the same xml file when whenever we are using the local see now here instead of local whenever we are using the parent whenever we are using the parent now the spring container doesn't looking to the within this xml file the spring container always looking to the other xml files other xml files means the next class we will see what is the other xml file don't worry so now the spring container is always looking to the other xml files but not same xml file it never be looking to the same xml file while creating the an object it is always looking to the other xml files that is the purpose of the okay parent attribute now coming to the bin coming to the bin bin attribute <coughs> bin is acting as a local as well as parent whenever we are placing the here bin 
first of all it is going to be verified by the spring container this id3 is available to the within the same xml file or not if id3 is available to the within the same xml file within the same xml file happily the container is going to be creating the an object and it is going to place it into the inner bin inside the outer bin if that id is not available to the within the same xml file then immediately it is looking to the other xml files and it is going to pick up in that object and it is going to be placed into the inside outer bin like this this bin attribute is going to be working that means bin attribute is acting as a local as well as parent bin attribute is acting as a local as well as parent parent like this like this this bin attribute is going to be working like this this bin attribute is going to be working so now other xml files means uh, we will see the next session now we will see this example practically see now here go to the spring configuration file go to the spring configuration file inside this spring configuration file we have to configuring the separately that inner bin how to configured like this bin id is equal to bin id is equal to id3 then class equal to class equal to demo bin demo bin class equal to demo bin then next inside this example bin what we have to take we have to take the we have to take the ref ref local is equal to local is equal to okay local is equal to id3 in the same way the same id3 we can place here also ref ref local is equal to id3 id3 like this like this we can place the inner bin id inside the outer bin after that after that go to the client right click run as java application we will see same memory space is created or different memory spaces is created same memory space is going to be created same memory space is going to be created if we want to getting the only for that inner bin yes happily we can getting that inner bin okay happily we can getting that inner bin how to getting like this object object o1 or o2 is equal to factory dot factory class is producing the collection of an objects now here id 3 id 3 then next after that demo bin demo bin db is equal to demo bin core module means totally dependency injection mechanism how many ways we can getting the an object from the spring container now system dot out dot println db db now we can run this example right click run as java application we are getting or not in all the cases we are getting the same reference only all the cases that means we are saving the memory space we are saving the memory space any number of times you can make a request now it is given to the same reference only now here instead of using local instead of using local can i use the parent no parent is not work out here so now instead of local can i use the bin yes happily we can use the bin bin attribute is acting as a local as well as parent 
parent parent now here right click run as java application now okay happily we are going to getting the an object or not like this like this we are going to getting the an object from the spring container we can use either local or we can use bin or we can use bin so now like this we can getting the an objects from the spring container by passing that id now parent is there parent we will see the next session okay parent we will see the next session what is the other xml file we will see the next session thank you